Hey, thanks for joining me today as we finish meditating on Psalm 23. Today we're looking at the last verses. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. As I approach this meditation today, I think about how these verses follow on David's reflection of walking through the valley of the shadow of death how even in the dark places the Lord has provided him a table, a resting place. And so his giving of thanks here and his declaration of the goodness and mercy isn't shallow or hollow, but rather it's birthed out of the experience that he has had in walking through difficult places and finding God to be sufficient as a shepherd, leading him even through the difficult places. And so there's two aspects of the meditation, and the first is the thankfulness and the recognition of God's mercy and goodness, even when times are hard. And the second is the focus of our eternal home, of our eternal destiny, where we will dwell with God forever and ever. So feel free to jump in. I'm just going to go as led by the Spirit. Let's just do this together. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. Good Shepherd, today I'm aware, even as I read and pray these verses, that you have been good to me. I think about how you saved me, Good Shepherd, how you came after me as a lost sheep, how you showed me mercy when I was lonely and broken and destitute. And I thank you, Shepherd, Jesus, that you have led me through hard places in my life. That even when things have been hard, even when I cried out like David because I felt like I was sinking and going down, that you laid your hand upon me and you rescued me and delivered me. You healed my broken heart and you restored me to your heart of love. I thank you today for the revelation that you've given me of your goodness and mercy in the difficult places, times where I felt like Hagar, when she thought that she would die of thirst and you opened her eyes and she saw that there was a well within a foot or so from her. I thank you that in the difficult places, you have always not only shown me that well, but you have been that well for me, Jesus. That place where Isaiah said I could go and drink and draw deeply of the waters of life. That's your mercy to me. That's your goodness to me. And I want to reflect on that for a moment. I let that goodness and mercy today wash over my soul, wash over my mind, wash over my spirit. I drink deeply from the well right now of your goodness and mercy. No matter what's going on around me, no matter the warfare that I'm in, no matter the circumstances or the battles that I face, you are here right now with me, pouring out on me mercy that flows from the well of your goodness. Mercy that flows from the well of your goodness. Favor that flows from the well of your kindness. Holy Spirit, you manifested in me and over me right now. I drink. I thank you that I can breathe. That you kick down restraining walls. Thank you that your goodness and mercy shout to me louder than the voice of the accusation of the evil one who points out the difficulties and the hardness, who brings accusations. 
where was God? But I thank you that I found you in all of those places. You were not far from me. You were near to me. Even in the difficult climbs, even in the rocky places, you anointed my head with oil. You showed me my goodness. You showed me your kindness. And I just let that river wash over me today. Oh, yes, Lord. I just let the river of your kindness and mercy, your goodness, saturate my soul. I drink from the well of your goodness and the waters of your mercy overwhelm me. Surely this is my portion. This is my inheritance. Goodness and mercy all the days of my life. There won't be a single day that you don't manifest goodness and mercy to me. And I will dwell in your house forever, Lord. I thank you for an eternal perspective. I thank you that this isn't it. That even in the most full, joyous times of this life, it's only a glimpse, only a taste, only a foretaste of what you have prepared for me. I will dwell in your house forever. Abba today, open my eyes to all the rooms. Jesus, you said you went to prepare a mansion for me, a place for me in the Father's house. You celebrate me like you celebrated the prodigal and you bring me into your house where there's no lack. Lord, I wanna see all the rooms. I want a taste of eternity. And I know even now, while I am meditating on you, I am stepping out of the natural realm and I am stepping into the eternal realm. Just to be able to step into your presence today is to step into eternity. To step into your presence, opening my heart, thinking, meditating on you, is actually stepping into eternity, that place that you have prepared for me. Even the heavenly places that you say I have been raised up to at your right hand. Every prayer, every meditation is my spirit stepping into my eternal destiny. And I thank you for that. And I can't wait, Lord, for that day when I will see you, when I will put my finger, Jesus, in your nail-scarred hands, when I will lean my head upon your breast where there will be no more tears or sighing or sorrow or trials. And I know, Lord, there will be many rewards, even as you have promised that those who follow you will be crowned with the crown of life. But I'm so thankful and grateful. I pray, Lord, I would have that heart when I am with you that I would be like the elders and whatever crown, whatever reward I have, Lord, it all goes to your feet because you are worthy to have every crown, every reward cast at your feet. Thank you. I will dwell in your house forever. Mm, thank you for eternity. Thank you for promises of eternal life. Thank you for the joy of looking forward to living in your presence every single moment when my spirit will be so alive, when the flowers will sing and the trees will clap their hands and the mountains and the hills will cry out for joy when everything in your presence will be so alive and I will be one with you. Lord, I want to live in that realm as much as I can while I dwell in this one. Open my eyes to see. Thank you for your goodness and your kindness today. Amen. Thanks for joining me. I hope you have more time later to take this a little bit deeper. 
But I do love how being able to meditate on scripture gives us the ability to go deep in God in five or 10 minutes. Bless you. Again, thanks for joining me. And thank you, Jesus, for your goodness to us. Amen.